yeah, yeah, yeah there we go. Up. Okay. Alright. So we're just gonna start from now? Yeah, let's All just right. start from here. So uh, should we say we've already seen game one? Yeah, or, or, yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Cause yeah, I we'll mean, just redo it. Yeah, base. Honestly, I I remember the victor. I don't honestly remember exactly what happened. So yeah. Well, I'm trying to. Huh? Yeah, I'm trying to see how I'm going to worry with like. What's up? Mm -hmm. I don't think it really matters. It? No, I, I don't know who went to set, so that's all that matters to me. Yeah. So we have Blue Pajamas and Papa Jam, Ness and Wario as you can see, and uh, they're taking their time with their bands because I don't think they know how to reset it with Z. <laughs> I, to be honest, I don't either. Yeah, the way the way that it works <laughs> is you ban a stage with X, you ban all the stages that are banned from the random selection with Y. With y and okay, then I knew I knew the Y and the X. Z. I didn't know the Z. Yeah. Whenever I mess up, I do the same thing, yeah. so I can't also, even fault them. Also, if you have the um, you can also press R to go to page two. Do you, is there any is there legal status in page two? Um, depends on your region, because I know some places they take out distant planet and put it in page two, or some place uh, DFW where T Lock is. Yeah. They count Bowser's Castle with the three platforms as a legal stage because it's like Dreamland with yeah. a three, wall. Two, Okay. But anyway, we're gonna get into game one. Smashville. Smashville, again. I still, I, I, right there, that could have been a game changer, right there. I feel like he could have just kept pressing him off the stage and then just ended it. But I, I like the grab. I keep, I just noticed, like, I feel like, uh, I don't know if it's a good option or if he's just using it well, but Wario's uh, two hit jab. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's called. But. He's like jab jabbing him, and it's putting. I feel like it's putting Ness in a position to where you can get something like off of it really well. Um, I don't necessarily know. He might want to experiment with it, like bite. It also might be. It also might be a uh, bad DI from Colton, honestly. Yeah, it could be a, a number of things. You want to DI out yeah. fighting against Wario because if you DI in, um, say his bite. If you DI in, he gets a free follow-up like forward smash or his shoulder charge. Yeah. But if you DI away, then he has to call your um your defensive option, like if you jump or if you roll or depending on where you are. You know. Oh uh, he dared him out of oh. the fart. And then I feel like I I don't play Wario, but I feel like that that was a like sweet spot. I would be thinking that's a sweet spot. But he may have won a bit a too little, far little too over. high. Yeah. Or, yeah, I mean, obviously it wasn't a sweet spot, but I guess I can't fault him for it. Cause I honestly, looking at it, thought that you know, hey, that's gonna, it's gonna be yeah. magnet to the legs. He put him in a, a bad situation, and he forced his recovery, and then he called him out for it and killed him. Whether it be from Colton doing well at avoiding it, or Papa Jam not doing it as as much as he should, like I feel like up air, like up air is on Ness would be really good. Like just sitting there up air chaining him. Yeah, it has two hits. It has yeah. the sweet spot in the middle of his hands, and then it has that weird uh, way where it pops you up on the side. Yeah. So far, <laughs> Papa Jam has been 50, fi or a little less than 50 percent now on his uh, side B's in neutral. I don't know how well, I feel about it. <laughs> he likes to jump to extend the hitbox because what it does is it it makes it stronger the longer it's out. Well, I think it's like Ganon, like, if you know where someone's gonna be, it's great, you know, do it. If you, yeah. if it's like, it's like a for sure call out, like, I know you're gonna be in this spot. Oh, that's good to on the PK flash, and we got yeah. Colton with the time. Oh, I know you want it in that position, like, I guess you're at, you're like, why not already? I'm at 135, I'm three, two stocks down. Yeah. Let me fart on you, like. <laughs> by the way, that was you a know, good edge guard by Colton. Yeah, really there. Is. Like I said, 90% of our... 90% of the time, I honestly feel like Colton would go for a dare there, but but, but I feel like he made the right decision to say in here, eat this nair, we'll see in game yeah, two. Yeah, because he wanted game two. Yeah. Like I said, like look right here, you see Dream Dreamland's open. One of, uh, I, I keep like thinking, why are they going to No, no, they, he pressed A instead Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, when Dreamland's open, if you're not going to go to it game one, my only thing is that like you have to be thinking I'm gonna close it out on a different stage. I'm gonna go to a different stage and I'm gonna close it out on Dreamland. You know? Yeah. Well, no, that doesn't make sense either because he lost game one. So if he wins game two, he can't. He doesn't make the decision. 
I mean, he doesn't make the decision, but he can still influence. He can still influence. I don't think Ness is gonna bring. Who would Ness bring to Dreamlight? Like? He brings me to Dreamlight. Like. Does he? Yeah. Probably uh, room to move around. Room to move around. Um, nice wide open area. That way he can up me back. But you. Me but Ganon him. also runs the same issue that the reason why I'll bring Ness and stuff to Dreamland is that. Even if they don't die from the blast zone, you you'll live a lot longer. Yeah, they? and they're not gonna okay. come back. Yeah, I feel like right now, or as as they've been playing this whole time, is that Colton's been pressuring them and he doesn't know how to to deal with it. But it's it's kind of hard to try and figure yeah. it out. Like I oh he didn't squeeze. I've him. noticed every time that like Papa Jam doesn't actually play the neutral bad. Once he gets back to a a comfortable neutral, a favorable position, yeah, like if yeah. he's in a if he's in a spot where they're away from each other, he can kind of keep him out. But once he gets hit, he kind of like not panics, but he doesn't know how to get to get up, off get away him. and start yeah. over. Yeah, that's that's a problem that you really run. Uh, I agree, Dare right there. Like yeah, would've Dare would have worked. Does, don't you fly down a little bit and then bo uh, bounce back up if you hit somebody? You accelerate downward in a straight line, and then once you get the hit, it'll pop you back up. Okay, but if you yeah, don't, that's what I thought. And then if you don't, you don't, you're dead. You're sinking. Like, like, if you throw that dare out, you gotta hit it. Well, he's already got him at three stocks, which is what he was at well, last, he's, last game. He's keeping it even, Yeah. and that's good. But now he has to He's definitely in a better percent. position than what he was game one. Oh, um, hmm. And the balloon. Balloon goes. Bajamas has won this. <laughs> Shut up. We're getting the balloon. Oh, did you see that? He yeah. straight bit him out the air. It's, it's the first time he's used the bite, huh? Oh, oh he's, he's, used, to... he's used the bite a few times. Okay. But he may not have gotten the follow-ups that he wanted yeah. due to DI. Okay, there's the up air. But he's already at two percent to where like you're not gonna up air chain him. Yeah. yeah. He got the sweet spot. That's why. If he would have got the the sour spot on the side, then maybe he could have. Well, low percents, I feel like you can still be able to get uh, up air chain the sweet spot. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean. Good way to build percentage. See right there. You gotta punish him. Yeah, right you there. You can't let him back. Like I said, if 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 I don't think I can go out there, it's gonna take too long, and I'm gonna get hit. You don't want to get hit by that. That hurts. Yes, you don't. But you can punish it when he comes back. Yeah. He might not have a lot of lag on it, but I think towards the end of it, if you throw out a big move, it's not gonna clink or anything. He's yeah, gonna get. He's hit. gonna get hit. Like right there, how he did the four smash. I feel like he should have forward like. Ran back, wave dash, and then forward smashed him. Yeah, for sure. But now he's still living with even percent, but he's a stock now. He's oh. running into that Marth right, as you like to call it. Like that's what it is. Oh, I like that. He got the balloon and died. Oh. But, <laughs> but damn it, Hunter. <laughs> you know you can't like it's not even that uh, Hunter or Papa Jam is doing a whole lot wrong. Like that bad actually right there. Like calm to his curse. But uh, he's lost, I think, total out of the set. Four stocks to not being able to like not miss sweet spotting coming up to the ledge. You got dared like four times. That's 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 heck. Like on oh. the character when you have eight stocks. Oh, oh the Brett Far the <laughs> touchdown. <laughs> oh man, I would nobody oh, to no, catch you because it's called Peyton Manning now. Oh, I like that. I wish he would have done something. With Grab. It. You could have grabbed right there. He could have. That's oh. it. You know what I have said 90% of the time he can go for that dare? <laughs> well, I feel like he went for the dare because Yeah, he I agree, I agree. I'm just, I'm just making a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's the set.